Robert Bales told a military court that he committed the worst American atrocity in the Afghan war, but he does not know why. Fifteen months ago, in the middle of the night, Bales left his combat outpost alone and murdered 16 Afghan civilians in cold blood, mostly women and children. The bodies were delivered to a morgue in a truck. Nine of them were children, and Bales had set many of the bodies on fire. In a deal, prosecutors dropped the death penalty, and in return, Bales pleaded guilty to premeditated murder today and told a judge what happened that night. Ben Tracy is covering the hearing at Joint Base Lewis McCord outside Seattle. Staff Sergeant Robert Bales told the military court his rampage on March 11, 2012, was premeditated and without justification. Bales' voice cracked slightly as he read the charges with each victim's name. The judge then asked him, what was your reason for killing them? Bales replied, as far as why, I have asked that question a million times since then. There's not a good reason in this world for why I did the horrible things I did. Bales said that after he struggled with an elderly woman, he decided to, quote, murder anyone that he saw. He said he doesn't remember setting 10 of the bodies on fire, but he admitted that given the evidence, it's the only thing that makes sense. In November, an Afghan journalist working for CBS News spoke with this 15-year-old survivor of the massacre. We heard gunshots, he said. My uncle, my little cousin, and my grandmother were killed. I was told to put my hands on the wall, and then he shot my sister in the head. He is broken. He was broken, and, and, we, and we broke him. John Henry Brown is Bale's attorney. He says four tours in Afghanistan and Iraq left 39-year-old Bales with post-traumatic stress disorder. He joined the Army in 2001 after his financial services business failed. Bales has a wife and two children. Brown says Bales is worried about a backlash against U.S. soldiers still in Afghanistan. He's very concerned about the soldiers on the ground. Uh, he's very concerned about Afghan people and wants to apologize. The United States has formally apologized for the killings, and the villagers have told us the families of the victims were paid a total of $700,000. Sergeant Bales now faces life in prison. He'll be sentenced in August, and parole is still a possibility. Scott, if he gets life with parole, that means he could serve as few as 10 years behind bars. Ben, thanks very much.